Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Sec Modded System Shock 2. In the last video, we went back to the engineering and hydroponic stacks and searched them for security crates and replicators that I had marked and or left behind. We also explored a little bit of the more of the engineering deck. There was this part of the deck that we hadn't been in earlier. We found a very small amount of cyber modules, and we picked up quite a bit of ammunition and sci hypos from the hacked replicators. We also picked up a recycler, which now we can use to turn objects into nanites on a one-to-one -one basis, depending upon what we use it with. At the end of the last episode, we covered Tinker for a little bit, and I went over chemical grafters and showed off some of the upgrades that you can do by utilizing these things in a sec mod. With all this said, we're now done explaining such things and we're done backtracking. It's time to get back to the operations deck and continue exploring it. Let's go ahead and pick it back up where we left off, shall we? Well, kind of left off. So the first thing I'm thinking of doing, everyone, before we head on up to operations, is we are going to go ahead and improve my equipment with these chemical grafters that we possess. We will probably be finding one or two more French and French Epstein devices as we proceed onward, and so we'll be able to replace the things I upgrade now with different things later without feeling the cost or the pinch so much, in that way I don't plan on buying more chemical grafters but crafting them. To start, let's upgrade our hazard suit. So we're going to go from a 15 defense, 75 radiation resistance, 75 toxin resistance suit with a strength requirement of 1 to the Osseum Enhanced Hazard Suit. 30 defense, 90 radiation resistance, 90 toxin resistance for two strength. It also, however, does slow us down more. Here's my current, so without anything equipped, this is my current walk speed now. This is my current run speed. This is my run speed. Yep, that suit weighs you down quite a bit. To make up for this fact, we're going to power our speed boost implant with the chemical grafter. Changing it to an iridium enhanced run fast implant. There is no difference between run fast and speed boost aside from the name, if I recall correctly. So now, let's run on down here, power the run fast. As you can see, chemically grafting an implant robs it of all the power it had in the device. Probably because it spawns a new object in your inventory with zero energy in it. And now... Oop, how if I equip it? This is my run speed. And this is my walk speed. So much better. I'll be putting at least one more point into agility at some future event. So we'll move a little bit faster than even this. Okay, so with all that done, let's now get back up to... actually first... Okay, with only six of our modules, I don't have anything I want to take. Let's go ahead... oh! Stats! We should cover our stats. Let's do that first before we go upstairs. So, we have three strength, three endurance, four psionics, three agility, three cyber. We have four in hacking, three in maintain, and two in research. We have level one hacking software, level one research software, and level two in mod and repair. Our combat skills are three in standard, three in exotic, and these are our current psionic abilities. They didn't take anything new last episode. So we have anti-entrophic field, localized parokinesis, neuro reflex dampening, kinetic redirection, psychogenic cyber affinity, and projected cryokinesis. All right, let's get up there and begin killing more things. Oh! Hold on. We know a security code. To the security stations here at Medsci, don't we? Let me check really quick. Weapons lockup code is 13433. I think that was the medical locker in the other section of this area. Let's go check it really quick.
I forgot about that from two episodes ago. Sir, one three four, one four three four four. What was it again? One three four three three. Nope, not this code. Different, different system. While we're here, though, we can convert all this stuff into nanites using a recycler. Very careful, Tim. It's right next to your maintenance tools. Oh yeah, we can, we can take it and convert plants as well. Okay. And you thought you could escape the recycler? I think there's more upstairs, but whatever. It, it actually does take a... I have, I have to always think about, okay, it takes this long to recycle items, so I want to record all of that. I guess I could go off screen and recycle a bunch of stuff and then just show you how much money we made. All right, back to the op stack. Okay, so we've been through most of the op stack by now. I left, I marked something here. I wonder where I left there. Probably security crate. All right, so let's go to a new area. There was a lot of this in a previous episode. Right, and we, we discovered that localized pyrokinesis is an amazing ability and keeps them stunned if they get close to me. Holy crap, that's so handy. Sorry, I, I saw a guy with a grenade launcher whose back was turned. We needed to do that immediately. How's that for a start? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what happened here? Wow. That's a Psy Hypo. And I think there's another guy coming. Let's use another Med Hypo. Across. There's a gun turret down that hallway. Your flash will welcome us. Oh, Jesus, that's a grenade! <laughs> wow, are these spawns now? Grenade launcher carrying enemies? That's amazing if so. That's super dangerous. <gasps> Let's see if he was protecting anything. No, nothing. I guess this little ledge is used for maintenance purposes on the pipe here. And whatever this system is. Coolant, maybe, running through this area as well. We want to search that. I think insects spawn from this one. Your first normal status field generators here as well.
We might get a second batch, everyone. Okay, the monkey heard that. We'll go ahead and break down that, that analid item. It's a gun turret. Woo! Just missed us. That's radiation. Bronson knows. Won't let her undo the work we've done. Mm. Wired up a surprise for her. Anybody approaching Sim Unit 3 will feel sorrow. So much sorrow. With our radiation suit, we should be able to walk past this without too much trouble. There is a security camera around the corner, though. Okay, looks like it's safe. Beaker and version 2 repairing software. Darn it. I didn't purchase the hacking upgrade from the one replicator because it was 110 credits. Tech. Oh my goodness, I forgot this existed. Holy crap, that's amazing. I kind of... I, I, all I had to do was just go up here and grab this. And then we could have done the hacking a little bit easier. What's an expert tech? I don't think this was in the base game. I don't remember. This improves all your technical skills. Hack, repair, and modify by plus one. This bonus does not apply to meeting minimum skill requirements, so we can't hack replicators with a hacking skill of 2, even if we equip that to give us the effective skill level of 3. But it will make all that stuff easier. This is Xerxes. At Ur 200, there will be a poetry reading by Protocol Unit 3892-2 in the Deck 5 Commons area. Please bring any authorized material that you wish to be read by T892-2. I do like those announcements. They add a little bit of humor to the game. Make it also seem like the, the many are trying to have their own culture. Okay, everyone. That is Sim Unit 3. You can tell by the giant 3 near it. We were just warned that we're gonna feel sorrow. So much sorrow. That is the interpolar simulation. And we have the interpolated simulation chip. So, oh, we also did just pick up a small beaker. We should probably use it. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and give this a try. You know, I'm going to have one of these too. Oh, that, uh? That's, that's from the spiders. Normally, I think a spider hits you with a a level four toxin on a hard mode. I think 
but our hazard suit is reducing that to just one. We can make arachnid serum hypos by spending two two empty hypos on one of them. I wasn't able to show you this yes yesterday. Oh, actually, it's just one empty hypo on it. Okay, but and then we can use the anti serum uh, the arachnid serum hypos with arsenic to create antitoxin hypos. So since we're in the area, we haven't done this yet, we're gonna, we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, nice. She tried to reach it. She had a laser sword, but it wasn't enough. She still died. Since the spiders weren't released, and I doubt they went back into this area to hide, she was probably killed by the radiation. Ooh. Timber. Next to the radiation. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and hack this. How much is left in this? 1%? I can't tell. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Even with our expert tech, four hacking and five in cybernetic affinity, it's a 40% difficulty with seven ICE nodes. Security system offline. With that offline, we will be able to. I think I think we managed to hack one. Oh wow! The run fast drains its power extremely quickly. Even though we we buffed it with iridium, that might not be working. Maybe we. Hmm. Well, it's too late now. There's no power in the immediate area either. Uh, that, we've, that we've seen. There is one right around the corner, so we will be able to repower our, our whatchamacallit. Oh, you know what just occurred to me? We could hack these, actually. I think we have the skill level to do that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this this is hackable. We should hack these. Unit R108 compromised. We can hack the cameras as well. This activated because it wanted to shoot that camera. Unit A694 compromised. Unit R108 compromised. Nice! Hey, that's kind of awesome. We were able to actually hack them all. There might be some more left actually in a different location. I might not have gotten every single one of them, but that's that's more than acceptable. Being the ones we just did. Oops, wrong button. Sorry about that, everyone. I want to hack this as well. Please make your selection. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Yeah, my personnel bullets for 44. We'll take some of those. Don't stop, Rebecca. Keep moving. Get to the escape pods on the command deck. We'll take off, set the toaster to wake us up in 30 years, and we'll be back on Earth before you know. I toast to Bill for two, baby. That's our next stop. Sound good? So let's do it. I won't take any excuses. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I can't tell. One, two, three. Um, looks like it's ringing about once every seven seconds or so. 
I don't know if the Iridium did something to it. I'll have to read about how fast it normally burns down power. Security system online. Nice, good work. It helped me defeat that ambush. I forget if the turrets were hackable in the standard game. And without repair, I don't intend to take repair, we won't be able to fix the turrets I destroyed. Endurance boost. Well, plus one endurance. We might as well take the implant. And this must be the barracks, I suppose. For the Von Braun security forces. It's a destroyed... We're not gonna do, that's a destroyed battery. We're not going to do anything with that. Four anti-personnel bullets. Oh, there's something in there. <gasps> <clears throat> six anti... Uh, six AP rounds. Very nice. Bullets for our pistol. And we should level our modification software, right? Our modification is what, is what I wanted next. So let's grab modify. Two points in it at the moment. I think we'll level up to three. Let me find some more modules, and then we'll try using it on our weapons. As of this time, I am declaring a state of martial law on the Von Braun. All primary subsectors of the ship will be locked down and only accessible by security access cards. If anybody is found to be interfering with the normal operations of this ship or impedes the work of the security forces, they will be shot on the spot. I really like her. Of all the characters here, she... She refuses to give in. She doesn't let herself get corrupted. And she tries her best to, to restore order to the Von Braun. I like her attitude. Close range spit, you get another one. We're interacting with it. Three cyber modules, enough to take modify up another point. Perfect. That is a war bot. I'm gonna run around the corner for a bit. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna come back here. We're gonna go back to the med sci deck. Where I can relax and do some modifications. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and equip our expert tech. We'll leave behind our endure. What the heck just happened there? Oh, you, you unequipped him. <laughs> you unequipped your sprint, your run fast. That's what happened there. Take you, the monkey brain. Let's toss the monkey brain out there. Okay, so let's quick save and show you modifications. So, let's go ahead and use Cyber, because it'll make it a little easier for us to do this as well. So, let's pop out this. Okay, everyone. So, to use modification, you right-click on a weapon, which you've seen me do before in order to access its different firing modes. And then, you can go ahead and select any one of these modifications that you have the minimum skill to at least meet. 
For our pistol, I would like to increase the damage by 15%. This will also mean that other mods will be increased by 5 more percent. So after you've put 3 mods on the weapon, for example, it will have a total of 25% increased damage. Know that you can only have 3 modifications installed or a on a weapon at one time, or in other words, you can modify it just three times. So I do like taking this upgrade to start, but I think I think it gets tougher the more of these that you that you unlock. So I'm gonna grab double clip capacity to start. Hints of oh, it would help if I leveled the modify skill first, <laughs> so I can actually do the thing I was talking about. And yes, I, I am hurt. You're 11 hit points down. I will visit the one of the beds after this. For some reason, I, I just want to be in that room. <laughs> I, I like being in that room. The room's where all my stuff is. I feel like I'm powerful looking at all the loot I managed to accumulate. It's, it's for the points. Secret... Secret big boy points for uh, collecting all the implants and what have you. All right, so here we go. We'll go ahead and click on this, and we will try. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, actually going to quick save first before we do this. So it's. Hmm. It's very expensive to tr to attempt to do modifications. It cost us only ten nanites to do it. But normally, it's 20 nanites. Remember that we have the Tinker trait, which also lowers, the, which reduces this cost by half. At a fun difficulty 15% and zero safety interlocks, this seems like a perfect thing for us. Nice. Done. And now, our weapon can hold twice the ammunition it normally could. Up to 18. You might not have noticed, but the amount of ammo in the pistols was lowered in the mod from, I think, 12 to 7. And I think 18 was the increase for the weapon modification of the weapon in the standard game as well, to, to increase its weapon size. Alright, next. Uh, I wouldn't mind having reduced kickback, reduced degradation, and I definitely want to increase damage. You know, I have nine maintenance tools. I'll take the reduced kickback. Oh, our cyber just, expen just expired. I do that again. Now, it's found difficulty of 15% and only one safety interlock. Done. Up and upgraded again. Finally, we will take. Increase damage by 15%. 15% difficulty, one safety interlock. Done! Pistol completely upgraded. So our pistol does an extra 25% damage, or should. It has a greatly reduced... Uh, wait, what did I upgrade it with? Oh, our, the kickback has been greatly reduced, so we hopefully won't even have any kickback left on the pistol. And it we doubled the clip size. Very nice. Oh, well, the clip size was 9, Tim, not 7. You said 7 earlier. All right, let's do this, some, some similar things to our shotgun. So here... I think I want double clip capacity, reduced degradation rate, and increased damage. So let's start with this one. Ice! Been modified. Degradation rate decrease. Nice. And then finally, damage increase. Nice. All done. Perfect. Alright, so that's all I have for weapons. Oh, you know what we do also have though? We have arsenic here. I brought it here on purpose. Let's go ahead and take the arsenic. And then we take some empty hypos. Oh, no, we don't. What do I do? I think I do, I do this. There we go. And we converted some of those... Some of those spider uh, arachnid serums into antitoxin hypos. I won't need these with me. 
goes here. Where's my speed boosters? No, we'll need these here too. Okay, let's go and get our equipment charged. And we're off. Back to ops. Oh, actually first to a surgical unit. There was one right here. The next thing we'll be improving will be our psionic skills, I think, everyone. We might also want or need one more point in exotic weaponry in order to use a, a weapon that will be available to us on deck five. We can probably hold off on that for a little bit. I wouldn't mind unlocking tier three psionic abilities next. I always found in the past tier three to be the best tier. You get localized polychronesis, electron discharge or something that lets you recharge your your implants and other powered items. And there's like one or two other skills there which are very nice, but the second mod makes almost everything there useful. Oh, I said almost everything. That makes it sound like some things are unuseful. Some are more useful than others, I guess I should say. But they're all more useful in the sec mod than they were in the base game. Again, I can't stop singing the praises of this of this mod. It's it's simply amazing. Okay, we are doubling back to the security station because I would like to power down the security again. Oh, actually, no, 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 Tim, you want it active because you have a, you have a security bot, a war bot, walking around at the moment. Also, what is my... That's it. It's F? No, F is that. B is also that. Only one of those should be that. Alright, one second. Where's my change ammo type? That should be B. And my... What's my switch? There's a button to switch attack type. Yep, we're doing it on screen. This is really awkward, Tim. If you can't find it in like three more seconds, you should do this off screen. Darn it! <laughs> I can't find it. Alright, I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, everyone, I found it. Change weapon setting. I also saved my configuration. Burst norm. Yeah, that's much faster than opening the inventory and then clicking on it. So we get a chance to try... To try out our new weapon. It destroyed our gun turret. That was amazing. Wow. No kickback at all on the pistol. Oh, actually, no, Tim, you destroyed that one already. It was just it was just hanging out there. Did you destroy this one? You did not even go that way. A flamethrower in good condition. An assault rifle in good condition. Three EMP grenades, we'll convert those. Six anti-personnel shells, some template grenades, which we'll also convert. And that's it today in the weapons lockup. Okay. Oh, 50% tunnel difficulty, seven ICE nodes. Let's see if this makes it a little easier for us. It will. We'll try two more times. Okay, no good. It's too difficult for us. forgot that was there. <laughs> that guy should walk up here. He should do it. Oh, he might be... Whew. 
Good job, gun turret. Thank you. Wow, he destroyed this as well when I had hacked. Doubling back here, hoping that that gun turret can assist us whenever spawns. We'll wait for the alarm to end. Sounds like my other turret was destroyed. dangerous, but you could farm the grenade launcher guys. I don't remember grenade launcher guys as an enemy. Like, not a, not, not a respawning enemy. That's amazing. I really like it. They're super dangerous. Thankfully, they won't use their grenade at close range. The grenades, I suggest you say. They don't spawn grenades very often. We've killed like eight of them. Don't run away from them, Tim. Don't, don't. <laughs> you killed once a long time ago. Nothing in you either. Run fast on the 67 energy, Tim. Delacroix is working for Shodan as well, apparently. I think that's where we have to... Oh no, that's not where we have to go. Oh, maybe the... the the, the, the separate assassin run down this way? You've served me well. Transmitting cybernetic modules. You have so many worm uh, grub organs around, we shouldn't need to worry about worm clusters. Nice try, monkey! Take those two cyber modules on that guy. Hello. I've authorized a change in the access code for the auxiliary weapons lockup in the crew quarters of Med Sci Deck 298383. I won't have my own gear used against my men. There's no such thing as too cautious. Good for her. I agree with her too. Side booster. down here? I guess it was. Yep, okay. Uh, 
Access needed. We need a password once we're in there. We don't have the key card for that room yet. You're running on onto the grenade. You're, look, you're running onto the grenade, and now you're running away from the guy with the grenade launcher. This is all sorts of not what you should be doing. Grenade guy killed our other turret. Missed. <laughs> Gonna let, I'm not gonna do that again. We we missed the last one with a single shot, and then it it it, pin, it pegged us. We're not gonna let that happen this time. Oh, we're locked in, or we would be, if I didn't remember this. <clears throat> and that will unpower that. Unfortunately, he didn't have anything on him. And he didn't unpa- it, These are still active as well, so I guess there was nothing down here whatsoever today. That kind of stinks, I guess- Well, he's like a random crate, so we can't be- can't Hard mode especially, you can't be ex expected to get anything on them. like Commander Diego showed up here with whatever, I guess, converted Marines he had from the Rickenbacker and wiped out Bronson's force. And here's Bronson. They've killed my men, and now they've killed me. I'm holding my guts inside of me with both hands. I'm almost done. Resist! This is bigger than my little life. The lives of my men, and the lives of the people I was forced to kill. Resist! Humanity demands it. Resist! This is Xerxes. Primary data loop infiltrated. Primary data loop infiltrated. You have you, you you have accomplished much for a thing of such small consequence. Warning. Now proceed to the recreation deck. Do not dawdle. I lust for my revenge. I'm gonna... My creation is evolving. Its unified mind set in rebellion against its own creator. creator. The vermin call to you, inviting you to join them in their re revolting biology. 
destroy my enemies, and I will continue to abide your existence. Oh, that was awesome! I've never heard her say that before! Wow! Yeah, I've never heard her say that line of dialogue. I, I, guess, I guess that was restored. That was wonderful. And we have 41 Psy, uh, psy Modules. So, that's enough that we can take quite a few things. Let's take a, let's take a look. So, I think we can... For exactly 41 modules, unlock the Tier 3 Neural Capacity, which will give us, well, Tier 3 abilities. We would gain Molecular Duplication, use some Nanites to duplicate items, Energy Reflection, Energy-based damage is reduced by 50%, this includes cold and incendiary sources of damage. Doesn't last very long, though. But this could be useful for us to maybe get the power armor, if I had cared about that. Again, I don't think we're... we're not getting that. I wanted the worm armor this time around. Electron Cascade, really useful. This lets me recharge things, so I don't have to actually be near a recharging station. Neurotoxin Blocker, absorbs 100% of all toxins. Projected Electrokinesis, this will let us deal with robotic enemies. Psionic Hypogenesis. Looks like this shocks an enemy, stunning them. I suppose it's similar to the status generator. And projected pyrokinesis, which is an, a explosive AoE fire attack. I like most of these, actually. But I do, want, do I want to unlock them now? I think you should, Tim. If you do it, do it now, you have exactly the amount of points. It's like faded that you do this. Done. Tier 3 Psionic Potential unlocked. And that gives us six more maximum Psy points. I'm going to go back to this location and see if there was a crate in there. We're going to try to hack it. Okay, so no matter what, we're going to try hacking this. Even if our chance is really low, I don't intend to take hacking up another point. I guess we could hardly wait until we have better hacking version software, but we're going to do it now. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Thirty percent difficulty, four ice nodes. We've done more difficult ones. Okay, that failed, and now the crate is off-limits to us. We would have to repair it in order to get another attempt. Well, there you go. Guess that lets me at least show off that aspect of this sec mod as well. Crates in the normal game, if you fail to hack them, I believe, would detonate. They do not do so now. Instead, well, obviously, if you repair, you can repair them and make another attempt. And I think with that done, that was the last of the things I care about on the op stack. Charge our things again and go back upstairs. Oh, nothing, nothing was spawned in here. Nothing was spawned in here. Okay, do we need to actually stop by Medside first? Um, no. Let's go up. Let's go upstairs.
Oh, and this is as high as we can go. The upper level of the decks. Delacroix. Delacroix, it's me, Cortez. We're locked in here. Hey, who are you? Shit. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, we upgraded our shotgun, didn't we? It now holds eight slugs in it. That's amazing. Four double-barreled shots would be a good answer to any anything that's tough as well now. Transmitting station in the athletic sector of this deck. The transmitter is intended, is intended to send a message to the Earth to warn them of the events that have occurred in this ship. However, it will also draw power away from Xerxes, making him vulner vulnerable to my will. Once you do this, I will control the primary data loop. Data loop. Data loop. Data loop. Data loop. The analids are unaware of its presence, but guard the area for their own purposes. Find, find, find the transmitter and activate it. Delicious potato chips. There's, a, there's war going on outside, Tim. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, we lived. And now we will respawn if we, if we get the uh, on this floor. Okay, Delacroix. Yang and I have got the transmitter almost ready to go. Once it's up and running, we'll be able to warn Earth. Frank split up the transmitter code and uploaded it to a number of art display terminals throughout this deck. Just cycle through the art, and you'll find a piece of the code. I don't think the worms will spot this. I don't figure they got much of an interest in the Great Masters. They do not. An excellent EMP rifle. I hear that. Worms up ahead, uh, behind us in a different room. That one. Heard it for a few seconds. Okay, this one we're just gonna mark. We'll come back to that later. You know, I may want to take my scramble grenades with me. We can use a uh, one or two of of those to get into these crates. The eggs we found near the observation chambers are different from the ones in Hydro. They release some kind of disgusting flying swarming thingies. Bullets don't do anything. Bullets, for Christ's sake, I never even fired a gun before this morning. Batch them to them. Both A's gonna have, probably have another batch of them. Oh, we can take the swarm pond organ out of this one before it's even destroyed. 
That's kind of rare. Must be some sort of triage area for the crew, in case they're not near med side. Or maybe med... Some, yeah, there's a medical here. I guess, yeah, this must be triage for light injuries or something of the sort. Med side must be for whether surgeries or other more complicated medical procedures need to happen. here for our future use. Let's see what else is around here. So we learned that some of the art will contain a code within it that we can use to activate the distress beacon. Okay, I got the art terminals wired up to display the fragmented dish alignment for the transmitter. I've also rigged up the tower to set off a security alert in case somebody else tries to tamper with it. I'm headed there right now to start the transmission. Hey, who's that? Juan? Marie? Well, Yang didn't make it. Six. That is, as I look around for a pen to write it down with, I don't see anything nearby. Darn it! Okay, let's we'll have to try to remember. Six is one of the pieces of the code. I believe the code is different in the sec mod than it is in the base game. Just a heads up, everyone. How difficult is this to hack today? Too difficult. We will just mark it. I think there's a smart gun in there and or smart gun ammunition, if I remember correctly. near the basketball court oh. keep fritzing out. I think the humidity from the pool next door is a real problem. If it happens when I'm not there, try resetting the circuit from the breaker by the pool. You think someone needs to call a tech? Items dropped. Might be possible, but we'll wait a little bit. Hi there. Please make your selection. That told that one is hackable. Let's go ahead and do this. And by that I mean they're, they're all hackable. But Hi this there. we have a decent chance Please of actually succeeding at. Hi there. Thank you for choosing value wrap. We're just a scramble grenade and we'll show this off to you guys. Let's go back down here to the crate we left all the way in this area. Listening for, sorry, I'm not talking because I'm listening for enemies. All right, let's give this a try. There we go. Opens it up, and inside we find six rifled slugs and six standard bullets. Uh, it was Those are technically worth more than the cost of the scramble grenade, so I Arguably, it was worth it. And it gives me a chance to show off the how the scramble grenade works. So you, you literally have to aim and toss it at the object you want scrambled. You can also use it on replicators in order to have them spawn, I think, random e pieces of equipment. Alright, we'll let you just sit there for a little bit. Can you use them on security control stations to automatically disable the security? I don't think you can. And I have three of them left in my storage. I don't know what's going on around here, and I don't want to know. I'm not here for the glory of the stupid company. 
I'm just supposed to make sure the replicators are running. And this now people are dying. The I gotta turn the ship around and go home. Time to get me the hell out of this place. We apologize for the inconvenience. The family of the many works with every possible moment. Glory to the flesh. Glory to the mass. <laughs> There's something poetic about Xerxes spouting the worm's propaganda on the intercom. A terrible pistol, but it does have 11 bullets in it. I used that one strength upgrade because I thought I might be mailing those things, but then I did not do so. Mon petit, there is something you should know about. I have received information from some form of artificial intelligence that is calling itself Shoden. Yes, Shoden. Wherever this intelligence actually came from, it has a terrible grudge against these analeds and has saved my life more than once. Shodan has told me that there is a UNN operative aboard the ship, armed to the hilt and equipped with R-grade cyber implants. Strange bedfellows, eh? That would be us, I believe. Crocodiles just missed it. It did. Oh, all these are a little too tough. We need better versioning software. If I want to make an attempt at these. Let's mark that. I seem to remember a crate here. Ooh, a fusion cannon hidden inside that. I'm just going to take it and drop it here. I don't intend to use it, though. Um, I didn't remember there being a, a security crate that contains rank 3 version software for everything in it. Stay out of the mall if you can. It crawls. Access needed. And our run fast has already expired. Okay, so we can take that path to the mall, or we can take the other path to wherever it led. Since we've, uh, since we're near the elevator, everything is dead, and our run fast is unpowered. Let's double back first to Medsai to recharge it. I'm all for walking. I really like walking in the games I play, but this is. I I want to move faster. <laughs> <laughs> I want to move faster. So we're going to go ahead and constantly keep my run fast upgraded. I have also a battery to leave behind, which will clear up an inventory space. I guess we could have used the battery on my, my run fast to keep it, to recharge it. Let's grab the batteries. Or we could just keep all four batteries with you, Tim. You know, let's do that. We'll keep those batteries with me for recharging purposes. I am recording, right? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's go back up to recreational. I think we have enough time that we can probably do one more area. And then we'll call the session. So let's go to the mall. Because I know there's another passive upgrade there for our cyber rig. Similar to the psionic... Uh, no sonic, sonic burnout. So we'll go to the mall. It rammed into us, but didn't do any damage. Interesting. I wonder if my suit also has fire resistance in it. Hi there. 
Please make your selection. Well, that's not promising. This is the movie theater. Oh, how about it? Movie theater. I laugh because I wonder if this will, if movie theaters will actually <gasps> exist in the future, given what's currently happening to the world. We're waiting here for a little bit until the sound of the swarm goes away. Back up to 10 of those. A dual circuit EMP rifle, good condition. There was an excellent one, however, in a different spot, so I don't know how useful that is to get a slightly worse one. I guess if you're playing co-op, though, and you're both playing EMP characters, it would be useful. I thought there was some cyber modules in the movie theater, so give me a few seconds while everyone might quickly look. Is there anything here? No, I don't see anything glowing. It's a shame we can't watch whatever movie we're going to be playing. Oh, some wor Oh! Crapped him. Now there's worms left on the ground. like a safe toilet to use. I saw the grenade guy. Yeah, we're immune to his explosive powers. Or we seem to be. Oh, that was not a grenade launcher guy. That was just a shotgun guy. There is a camera that will see us from here. The glass blocked that shot. I would like to destroy it. We can. <gasps> Let's test this. Come on, friend, here I am. Yeah! Holy crap, oh great, I don't need to use localized power kinesis any longer. I'll double check, maybe some fire resistance was added to this suit, or maybe just increasing it with the osseum added fire resistance or explosive resistance to it. And yes, we will, we will be back to this deck when I have better hacking software to try these crates. I might take one more point in cybernetic affinity as well. It's, it's too useful not to take one more point in it. If nothing else, passively, that will give us more energy in our implants. So a small gambling area for people. Place to drink. Forget about land grants. Forget about media. Forget about patents. What we found on Tau City will change everything. I've instructed the Von Braun to change course and return to Earth. 
Captain Diego is in complete accord with this decision. I know that you are skeptical by nature, Miri, but I know once you embrace our discovery, you and the entire board will come <clears throat> over to our way of thinking. <laughs> I always found that rather funny, a rather clever way to phrase that, that they're going to mind control the crew. Or tempt them with such things that they will not be able to resist, I suppose, in some, in some cases. Again, not everyone seems to be fully susceptible. Subsec- is that right? Yeah, okay. Is there a security station here? That turret's gonna be a pain in the butt. I don't remember. Uh, we can use the map, Tim. We can use the map to see. Nope! No security stations. So, there's another way into the mall, but we'll deal with. The, we'll just deal with this. Another right there. Oh, nope. That's a recharge station, actually, Tim. I've just killed some kind of some kind of spider. I don't know, but it bit me. And now I'm sick. I'm down to my last med hypo. Come quick, Tommy. Come quick. I want to say there was a special implant here somewhere. When last I had played. I don't see it. I thought it was like a worm mind or something of the sort was inside this particular room. This emerald gate is way too useful to, to convert it to one buck. Alright, so let me look around really quick. I don't see anything here. Oh, they gotta check some parameters. Some parameters are wrong. One and two, actually. <laughs> nothing here. Maybe it was on the dead body or has a chance to spawn on it, but no nothing spawned on him today. Potential threat detected. Clever. Potential threat detected. Very clever. I think that got me last time, too. Wait here for the 98 seconds. I never feel comfortable exploring any more of the station when the alarm is off. I want to go back to an area that I know I've cleared so that when the respawns happen, I'm not fighting both them. You're kidding me. Is that a respawn? Like, is that an alarmed creature? A warbot. That's, I hope so. I hope so. That's amazing. What a dangerous enemy to have to worry about. I love the shoulder dash at you. It's a shame we're kind of immune to it now, just by wearing this armor. I mean, on one hand, that's a, that's a, that's a fantastic thing. But I've always liked panicking about those service droids. Not get hit by another grenade. They do half your half your hit points and damage. There's probably one more that spawned as well.
I think that's a baby changing counter right here. Bring it, bugs. Come on, it's like I'm outside. I'm used to this, I, I do this all the time here in New Jersey. That's right. That's right. I'm used to you. Surgical key, destroyed camera. Nothing even in you. Six cyber modules for stepping in here, though. That's really nice. What are we up to now? Ten. I see the warbot walking out all the way down there. See it? It's on it's on its way here actually. God, I love this pistol now. That is amazing. No kickback at all. 18 rounds and does decent damage. This is Xerxes. Tri-Optimum reminds you that there are only 163 shopping days until Christmas. An extra work cycle just twice a week can give you the spending money you need to make this holiday a very special one. I don't want to use all my my bullets on my auto pistol rounds on these guys. That was not a war, uh, a war bot, that was a security bot. Twenty prisons on him. If you were using the Devastator Cannon or whatever that thing is called, the Shrupper Cannon, that's a nice that's a nice amount of them to get. Oh, that's a different spot. I've got I've got a beaker. That means we need to do something with the beaker. Take more swarms with this one. I am really running out of inventory space. We might take a point in strength next. Just so I can have another slot. Uh, another column, sorry, unlocked. The approved fashion outlet. Much better than the unapproved one, I suppose. 99 nanites for a gray trioptimum jumpsuit? That sounds amazing. Come on, out here, let's, let's do it. Which one? Which one? The table. I keep one eye on you. Come on, little bugs. Let's do. Let's go. Let's do. Yeah, let's do. Take that and that. Ooh. All right, you actually, you actually do hurt a little bit. Be careful of you. Nice. Annelid Psy. Uh, thing. <laughs> well, that's completely fried. We're not opening that. This mark you as well. There's a camera that can see you. Can you hear it slightly? It's up and to the right, if I recall correctly. And it will totally notice you. So we want to avoid the windowed area for the time being. Oh, it actually, it might be this area that the camera's located in. This 
This is Xerxes. Tri-Optimum reminds you that there are only 163 shopping days until Christmas. An extra potential cycle for just a week can be potential spend revenue detected to make this holiday a very special one. Remember what I said about not exploring? We're totally doing it, because I, I want to get that other camera. Apparently the monkeys have powering power. No! <laughs> Don't move too far away from these guys, Tim. It's it's far more deadly for you if you do that. Some sort of uh, like the 110th Grenadier Force from uh, the Von Braun, and and their monkey mascots. <laughs> All explosive, even the monkeys. They they're they're pyrokinesis monkeys. And th this here's this guy to explode on us too. We're on fire. Oh no, the bodies are on fire. Give us a healing hypo, so that works. Security alert terminated. Woo! I hear a cyber assassin that spawned. Okay, still got another monkey up here somewhere, I think. Oh no, he's not up here. Oh, we do have, however, some shipping crates for more service droids. That would explain why we're, we're seeing them spawn up here. That is a poor Argon Suspension Laser Pistol. We saw a perfect one downstairs before. What's wrong with people? Things go to hell and they think they can just walk over the rules. I'm not opposed to a little vice now and then, but outright Hi theft. Please hey, make your selection. what are you doing over there? Get away from that replicator, you son of a... Okay, four. So we have a six. That looks like it's the end code. And a four that goes somewhere in the middle. That monkey is angry. Oh, this guy. This guy's like a small mini boss. Well, small mini boss. He, he's, a, he's a mini boss. For reasons we will see soon. We'll do this the hard... Oh! The hard way. Ready? The harmony. You may not notice, uh, might notice it, but he's filled with hypos all over him. <laughs> That monkey is very, very mad. <laughs> Hi there. Please make your selection. And only eight dollars for a medical hypo in this replicator. Wow. So I guess you could really stock up if you weren't able to create any type of analid healing items. Game cartridges. Let's see. We'll grab all of these. Oh, nice, and they automatically go into my pig, I guess. If it was, yep, they automatically go into the pig if, in case it was filled up already. Oh, I like that. That's that's a nice change. <clears throat> I think normally you you I think normally you just drop them on the ground if you were filled up. 
Okay, so it looks like that's all that's really up here. We've cleared the upper section of the mall. Like one more check. I can't but think we left something up up here. Some cyber modules. Oh, I missed this. Okay, nothing on that one. Throw, more thorough search down here. Once we've cleared it out. Oh, Tim, you're completely out of space. Let's, hold on. Let's go back and use the beaker really quick. It's supposed to give me a chance to recharge our run run fast as well. Okay, that would be, um, yep, back this way. Whew. <laughs> we, we move really fast and far. Very quickly. I guess if you can use a scramble grenade on one of these things. Okay, let's let's try a scramble grenade. Let's use let's use it Please on this. Make your selection. So let's quick save and see what this does. May have missed it. Hi there. Please make your selection. It did nothing to it, but it gave us a can of soda. Hi there. Please make your selection. Delicious. Totally not worth a scramble grenade use, though. <laughs> we'll keep it. We'll keep the wasted scramble grenade. That's too good not to have kept it. Okay. Maybe it's just that replicator. This doesn't have anything useful in it. Okay. I was hoping we would respawn some different things. All it did was give us a soda. And you might not notice the prices, but there are hundreds of credits for that soda. There's something wrong with that replicator. Let's explore more of this place. We have a cup we can't take. Sorry, it's really important apparently that I get the two nanites. Stats and tech. We only have 10 height uh, cyber modules. We can't really take much at the moment. I want those activated. I might as well get them, get them done now. Okay, what else was in here? What the heck? Oh my god! Items dropped. We we just suddenly spawned all the pig, all the cartridges in my, in my inventory. <laughs> what happened? That's too funny. Oh, nice. We got some random cyber modules that spawned on her corpse. Nothing in any of the eggs there. Okay, I don't know what happened. But that was that that's kind of so obviously the game must have queued the items in my inventory. We walked past something that triggered their sudden spawning, and the game just spewed them all off un into the ground in this area. That's all. Okay, that will leave some high swarm organs. Grub organ there as well. 13 summer modules is still not enough for what I want next. Actually, it is enough if I want to take a Psy ability. 
Oh, but I might need these separate modules for... I might want these for research and exotic weapons next. So I think we'll wait a little bit. We saw, by the way, the, uh, that there. Hmm. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try a new cyber ability. Oh, there's no sci... Oh, yes, yes, there is. Sci size over here. Nope, these are both stats and tech. Okay, well then we're not spending anything. Let's go ahead and look at another... Pa taking another passive upgrade. Hmm. I think we take cybernetically enhanced for a second implant being able to be used on us. I'm going to want this sooner or later, and now seems as good a chance as any. So let's take this. I tend to always take that upgrade on every single character. And we'll put our expert tech there. Okay, so... Now... We deal with this bot. Ow! He's really stalwart at guarding that particular door. There's the entrance, too. Does this lead to another crew? Oh, that does lead to another entrance into this location. Two cyber modules hidden in the bathroom. Items dropped. And the poor pistol that we can't pick up quite yet. Bit dangerous to walk near toilets. I have bad memories of toilets. Both from my time having to clean them at Great Adventure for seven years. And for my, uh... Oh, hey, a grenade. And because they tend to spew toxins on you, or release hornets in this game, if I remember correctly. Access needed. Okay, so I think that'll do it for us, everyone. We're gonna stop here. So... And am I, uh, let's go back to the charger, though, and we'll pick up from there in the next episode. So we've we finished our... Oh, actually, we're not done yet. We still have this area. Hold on. We have the love zone. Sensual stimulation units. Yep. And you thought that Project Melody was just someone you could see on YouTube. Here, you're actually able to interact with her physically, if you so wish. Do they see me? You're... I didn't think they did. Yep, so you can... I guess... Date? <laughs> oh, date's the wrong, really wrong term, Tim. That's... This isn't dating, what you come in here for. I don't know if any of you are old enough for me to tell you what happens in, in these rooms. But, uh, yeah. You can, uh... You can meet some virtual girls here. Meet all the VTubers. Taylor found this weird kind of weapon, but he must have used it wrong. Made him sick, real sick. I stashed the thing on the second floor of the crew annex, and Yuri ripped the door lock. Code of 11111. Easy to remember, huh? I also stashed a pile of nanites and some other goodies there. No sense in getting caught with your pants down. Except in this place. <laughs> Why don't I just make a bonfire and throw all my nanites on it? Last night with Nikki was amazing. Hollow woman, real woman, you gotta love technology. But I must have left all my nanites in her room, in the sensual sim center. What a maroon. I do find it interesting that they refer to Nikki as a she, considering that it's virtual. This is, this is not a real girl. It's not even like uh, Project Melody, where it's a girl, uh, a girl who has the a virtual system plugged up, uh, like a motion sensor on her, and she has an anime avatar that you interact with. Hi there. Please make your selection. So Nikki is 247 credits if we want to buy her card. But I think we will hack this. Hi there. Please make your selection. To make it cheaper. Hi there. 
Reinitialized. And now she's only 137. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Let's get some simulated love. Oh, right. Have to. It's a one-time use item, so this this isn't like a key card. You can constantly go back here. You get one night with her. We got some cigarettes and some booze. <coughs> and 404 nanites left in the room. I want to say there's like a cyber module left in one of the other people's rooms, but I can't remember. And I don't know if I'm willing to spend the money to find out, and I feel it would be cheating for me to buy them and then open the doors to check. So, uh, we're not going to spend all the credits we just earned on the possibility of getting a single cyber module. It's not worth it, in my opinion. Alright, so now we're done with this area, so thank you all for watching. And we will continue our exploration of the recreational deck in the next episode. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we won't set off quite as many alarms. Alright everyone, see you then. Thanks for watching.